four times I'm making this video now because this phone fucking sucks. God damn, I hate these iPhones. I hate Galaxy phones. I hate all these phones, these new phones. I miss the old phone. Never had a problem with the iPhone 4. Only phone I can ever say I never had a problem with. I hate having to repeat myself. Travis Benjamin sucks. Fire him, fire him, fire him. Too many drop passes. Six million a year. Tired of having to say this four times already. Six million a year. We're paying him for nothing. What is he averaging? 400, 400 yards a year. Him mostly dropping balls. Why do we have him? Didn't you see the way he fucking ran back 20 yards for a safety when we were in San Diego? We got sacked five times because our offensive line is too scared. Offensive line. <sighs> too many bad calls. Because we got coaches because our owner does not want to buy us good coaches to make good calls. We had a good coach and we let him go back in 2005. 2006. I mean, 2006, yeah. Instead, we let retarded ass AJ hire Noah Turner. Didn't work out for us, did it? Too many penalties. What has Lynn done to fix the penalties since the Colts game? Nothing. In fact, it got worse in the Lions game. Did he fix that? No. Here we are again, getting touchdowns, getting them taken back for stupid penalty calls. Would that touchdown have made a difference with this game? Probably not. It would have been 27 to 24. Maybe it would have kept our momentum going. I don't know. I don't care. This team should actually be 0-3 right now. We should not have won the first game. And with the last two games, it shows us that we shouldn't have won. We should be 0-3 with the Broncos right now. And actually, the Broncos should have won the game against the Bears. The referee screwed them out of that game. And I'm telling you this right now, Charger fans. Look, don't be looking forward to next year. It is not going to work out for us. Look what Gordon's doing right now for a new contract. What do you think Hunter Henry and Bosa is going to do next year? And Bosa already did this before when we drafted him. This punk who hasn't put in the effort that he should have this year or else or last year either. He is not putting in the work. He is not being scary like he used to be the first two years he was with the Chargers. Nobody's fearing Bosa. Bosa is not as scary as he used to be. Not with Ingram helping him out. Not with Perriman helping him out. He is not as scary as he used to be. And he's going to be worse next year if not sitting out the games. His contract goes up after next year. He's going to want a new contract. He's going to want money. We don't got shit for a salary cap right now. What did someone say we had five, six million right now? That ain't shit. People gotta be let go. We need to let go of Travis Benjamin. I do not know why we have this guy. Why haven't we traded? Why haven't we found somebody just to take the contract? Even if we don't get a first round pick, take the contract of Melvin Gordon. Just take his last year from us. Get rid of the fool. If we're not gonna keep him, which we do need him in the end zone, Desperately, but if we're not going to take him, get rid of him. Get something for him. Because as the Chargers do, we don't get nothing for our good players. We don't. Vincent Jackson, Michael Turner, Darren Spoles, prime examples of players that we let go who we don't get nothing for. And at least Darren Spoles, who I have mad respect for, Played out his entire year in 2010. Didn't sit out like baby Vincent Jackson. In the rest of this season right now, I'm counting as losses until the Chargers prove me wrong. I'm not counting as beating Miami. 
We haven't won a game in Miami in 37 years. We are a team that, as well as the Texans beat us yesterday, back in my last game that I went to in San Diego on Monday night, the Texans beat us when we had a three-touchdown lead in the third quarter, 28-7, 31-28. One of the only two games the Texans won that year when they were 2-14. and We lost to a bad team, and that was the first year we had Mike McCoy when we went to the playoffs. Then again, a couple years later, we lost to the Browns, who won 0-14 team, and we gave them their only win that year. So we're good at losing the bad teams. So you don't think for a second for Miami, who beat us four out of the last five games, we won't lose to? I'm counting that game as a loss. I can't see us beating any teams this year. We can't handle playing a full 60 minutes. Look at them. They can dominate the first half and then play like shit the second half. They don't know what they're doing. I don't know what Lynn's giving them in the pep talk in the, in the uh, freaking uh, halftime. I don't know what fucking Ken's doing, but he's a piece of shit. I don't know what Gus is doing, jacking off in the back. I don't know what these people are doing. Clearly, it's not any good motivation because we ain't doing shit. I am fucking furious about this team. I am so sick of time. 22 years now, I've been a fan of this team. 22 years of the same shit. And I am so tired of the win, lose, or tie. There's only one win that matters, and that's the championship win. I haven't seen that win yet. It's only been lose. We have only seen losses. I haven't seen any win that matters. I haven't even seen this team go to a Super Bowl. And we had many opportunities. 2006, 2007, 2009, 2010. We may have had a shitty special team, but when you have the number one offense and the number one defense, you should have had more than nine wins, even with the shitty-ass special teams. Last year, should have been a prime example. We were 12-4. and four. We were just as good as Kansas City. Same record in the division. I mean, who did we lose to in the four games? We lost to the Rams. Kansas City lost to the Rams. We get one win in the playoffs. Kansas City gets one win in the playoffs. We lose to the Patriots. Kansas City loses to the Patriots. We had the fucking exact same record. Now, if the Chargers would have actually showed up in the first half, instead of doing what they always do, give up, and then trying to come back and only play one half of a fucking game, maybe we would have beaten the Patriots, and it would have been the Chargers versus Kansas City in the AFC Championship game. But this team has a hard time playing full 60 minutes. And like I said before in my videos, they cannot, I mean, we do not have a good conditioning staff in training camp. Why we're so injury prone. But as of right now, I'm not counting any wins. We already lost. And until they prove me wrong, we're going to be 1 in 15 this year. And it's not the first time we've been 1 in 15. 2001, people. 2001. We have the talent, and we also have the talent to lose games that we're supposed to win. We have the talent to be a shitty team. I say trade Phillip Rivers. It's time to get a quarterback. Look for a future. Time to get rid of a lot of these players. If uh, people are not going to put in their work, they need to go. We really need to start building on a championship team. We need to start getting some good coaches. We need to focus on fucking uh, getting a good GM. Tom needs to go. I've been bitching about Tom wanting to go last year. I've been bitching about Tom's lack of effort, effort during the free agency. You did nothing to pick on, uh, build on that O-line knowing we do not have nobody to protect Phillip Rivers. Everybody too overhyped on Austin Eckler. I like the dude. I don't got a problem with Austin Eckler. He ain't an every down running back. Too damn small. Like I said, he's like Dan, uh, Darren Sproles or Danny Woodhead. But he's not every down. No one's going to be Darren Sproles. 
And even then, even there, I suppose it wasn't every down. We had LT. No one can replace LT. Not Ryan Matthews. Not freaking uh, Melvin Gordon. Not Austin Eckler. Another thing that made me mad about the game is we didn't use uh, Justin enough. We used him five times as a running back last time I looked before I made my video. Five times. I didn't look since. And then we had a uh, touchdown taken away because of a fucking holding call that Justin made. Now, Justin's a bigger guy than Austin. Not that much bigger, but he's a bigger guy. We should be using him more. Austin's an uh, all-around type of guy, you know. Wide receiver, blocker, running back. That's fine. He's fantastic. Love the dude. Definitely a guy who I want to keep on the team. Use Justin more as a freaking running back. Let's get him going. Let's see if he's actually worth keeping or not. But some of these players are overpaid. If they're not going to put in the worth like Bosa, trade them. Gordon, trade them. Rivers, trade them. Let's start training these people. Let's start getting a bunch of first and second round picks. Let's start building a new team. Fire these coaches. Actually look for some real coaches. If you can spend $100 million on a freaking uh, Gruden to try to build a Super Bowl team, we can do something like that. Let's look for some good coaches. Let's look for a good GM. Let's build a, good, let's build a fucking championship team. Let's actually try to win a championship for once. 63 was a fucking long time ago. And I don't want to be like a fucking Raiders or Kansas City or any other one of these teams talking about championship that happened in somebody else's lifetime. I want to see one before I fucking die. I could have 20 years left in his life. I want to see one before I die. At least I got to see the Angels and the Ducks win a championship even though they're probably never going to go anywhere either because the team's in exactly the same spot. One hit one the teams. Now they don't want to do nothing. And the Ducks had many opportunities to win a championship in the last 10 years. And they fucking sucked when they got into the playoffs like they didn't know what they were doing. And then the Angels don't know how to build a championship around Mike Trout when you got one of the best players ever. But instead you flow $150 million on two players on Albert Pujols and Justin, whatever his name is, Josh Hamilton, there you go. On two players who weren't worth it, to me, past their prime, and they did absolutely nothing for us. We had one year, we had 98 wins, and then you rest these, overrest these players on the last two weeks, going to the playoffs, not winning one game because you overrest them. You rest them a couple of games, you don't sit them for two weeks. Again, bad owners, bad GMs, bad coaches. I guess that's what it's like when you have to sit there and be a fan of a SoCal team. Damn, this video is already 14 minutes. Alright, I'm going to end this video now. I'll be at the Lions for this Kansas City game. So, most likely Kansas City is going to be winning that game going 4-0. I don't know who the Raiders or the Broncos play. Clearly, we know who the Chargers are playing. It's honestly more fun right now to tailgate to be a Charger fan than it is to actually watch the Chargers play. And I got a lot of people talking trash, saying that the Chargers had a lot of empty seats in the first half of the game compared to the second half. What do you think is going to happen with that new stadium? Seriously. They're already making complaints about the Chargers not pulling in their own weight with the fans and all that in L.A. What do you think is going to happen on that new stadium? You think the Chargers are going to fill in 70,000 seats when they can't do nothing? This is the year the Chargers should be winning the Super Bowl for that new stadium if they're going to bring in any type of fans. They <laughs> ain't going to the playoffs. I was just glad they at least went to the playoffs last week just so Antonio Gates didn't retire in a playoff situation because God knows we ain't going to the fucking Super Bowl. Antonio Gates at least deserves some type of respect. 
fucking one of the greatest tight ends, if not the greatest tight ends of all time. He deserves something because God knows we ain't giving him a ring. And he got and he deserves it. We wasted Antonio Gates talent. We wasted Philip Rivers talent. We wasted Junior Seau's talent. We wasted Ladanian Thomas' ta- uh, talent. We wasted so many players' talent by not pulling our weight once we get into the playoffs. And I don't blame the kickers. I don't even blame Nate Cannon, and I hate that dude. We shouldn't have to rely on Nate Cannon to make four freaking kicks in 2009 or that mess up kick in 2006 to take us anywhere. And we shouldn't have to rely on Nate Cannon in 2007 to freaking go against the Patriots because we can't make a t- touchdown because none of our players want to catch the ball. If Philip Rivers is playing with a torn ACL, catch the fucking ball. He's playing with a torn ACL. The kicker is there just for a couple kicks. He's not there to freaking win the game for everybody. You should be making touchdowns. Stop relying on freaking kicks. This is like 2012 to 2016 when we were relying on a kicker to make a freaking win game for us because we can't make touchdowns. What's the point of having a good quarterback if we're not going to get touchdowns? I'm out of here.